timber frame construction, we often finish the outside of the building with block. But the difficulty is, if you've never done this before, how do you know what materials go into that construction and how do you cost it? So in this video, I'm going to show you and walk you through a spreadsheet that shows you how to do that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to provide you with a link so that you can download a copy of the spreadsheet for yourself. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jim J. Davidson and I've been involved in property since 1973. Um, my brother and I bought a flat in the student area of uh, Edinburgh and we rented out two of the four rooms. We each took a room each and then rented out the other two rooms. And so in effect what we had was an HMO. Of course it wasn't called that in those days um, but nevertheless it was able to give us uh, an income from property. And that piqued my interest ever since in property, particularly as I saw the values rise. My current company uh, was formed in 2003 and we completed our first new build property in 2006. Um, along the years, I have learned an awful lot. I've made lots of mistakes. And what I can tell you now is I don't know everything, but what I do know, I hope will be of use and helpful to you. For context, we're actually in two phases and two stages. We are building the uh, block work, uh, so we are in the frame stage. However, we are also looking at this pre-build, so we're looking at the arrange stage because we are working out the costings. Uh, clearly, when we come to the actual build itself, then we'll be ordering the materials. But in terms of estimating costs prior to the build, then we are in the arrange stage. So the materials that we need for block work construction are naturally blocks in themselves. Uh, we then obviously need sand and uh, cement in order to bind these together. We need these which are called wall ties and principally what happens is that uh, you'll see there's a nail here and that nails into the timber frame kit and then this uh, then goes in between the blocks and that secures the block work to the actual timber frame kit. Um, we also need to allow there to be breathing space behind the timber frame kit and um, so, or behind the blocks should I say, and so therefore we put in these vents, these have uh, air holes here that protrude out outside of the block work and um, if you're putting a render on then that's going to protrude enough out to allow the render to be put onto that without blocking up the holes. Um, we then have uh, over where you're going to have uh, lintels, so lintels are going to cover the space where there are perhaps windows or doors. Uh, we're going to have a, a damp proof course that's put on there. This is the wider one and that hangs over. And then we have, uh, before we actually start building the block above um, ground, uh, before um, the, the foundation level, then we put in a damp proof course and that stops the damp rising through there. Um, so now what we're gonna do is move over to the spreadsheet and we'll talk through these various items, the costs and uh, putting it all together. And then of course, as I said before, at the end of the video, we're going to give you the opportunity to uh, find, get, get a copy of the spreadsheet yourself. Um, in the meantime, if you kind of like the content of this video, then please click on the like button and let us know that you value this type of uh, video and then we'll make some more of them. So here we are in the block work calculator and I just want to, before we go through the process, explain a couple of things to you. The items that are marked in yellow are the values that you can change and uh, the rest of the sheet is protected. If you want to unprotect the sheet, then simply go down to the uh, tab at the bottom there and unprotect the sheet and this will then allow you to change anything here the only things that you might want to change are the descriptions to make them appropriate for your particular build uh, particularly maybe the sizes in the lintels 
these here are formulas so you really don't want to be uh, playing around with those because uh, that will corrupt the calculator itself so my suggestion is if you do want to make some changes maybe save a copy of it first so as you have the original uh, and then once you've finished that simply go back here having made your changes and protect it and these two are already selected so it's just a case of clicking OK so I've said already these are the values that you're going to change and these are principally the measurements and then down here we have the price values depending on where you are in the country and where you're buying from these values may be different and these simply reflect my most recent recent project so uh, these these are the prices I paid for these items um, also in addition to that I um, hired a telehandler um, depending on what stage you are in development you may have your own telehandler and within this uh, there were certain things that you may not need so we'll go through this uh, uh, bit by bit and explain that so here um, you just simply put in the total square footage of the area that you are looking to build now you you don't exclude any openings so it's just measured what we call measured through rates and this is how uh, block works and brickies generally price their work uh, so they will do it on a piecework basis usually and they will measure through windows and gaps like that unless you've got a complete gap that perhaps goes from uh, right from the ground floor up to the top of the eaves so we, as we did in this current project so we didn't actually include that at all because obviously there was no block work to do that now you might be wondering why do they charge you for areas where they're not laying uh, block work well because they have to cut the blocks um, in those areas to the size of the window they put in the lentils so they don't charge a supplemental charge for doing that and it's always time driven so in the amount of time that they would uh, be uh, um, filling that window with blocks uh, they could actually be uh, it, it would take them the same amount of time uh, to, to cut the blocks and, and put the lintel in that having said that if it's if it's a large opening then you certainly that's an area for negotiation but if it's a fairly standard uh, size window then generally they're going to do it as a measured through rate um, the alternative to that is that they will charge a higher rate but they will charge you supplemental uh, for the those areas where they, they have to put a bit more work in so this is the total square meterage um, you also want the linear meterage um, and that's to work out some certain components within it you want to have the linear meterage, meterage of the all the openings that you have and the number of openings that you have and this is this is important for your calculations um, and then we simply have the materials for the block work so you've got the cavity wall ties you've got the cement the building sand the blocks themselves and in this case I have priced it for 100 meter millimeter blocks which are 7.3 newtons uh, the 7.3 newtons is the strength of the block so they are much more compact uh, they're quite heavy um, if you're doing perhaps internal walls if you're doing block internal walls then you might not need such a heavyweight block um, and then the trim these are the vents um, for giving uh, air circulation to the timber frame kit and then there are the damp fruit, fruit courses for uh, the, uh, the the above the foundation level and then above any of the openings so therefore you would then put in your costings here and then these are the different lintels uh, that we have used and then as I said we hired a, a telehandler for two weeks so this was the cost here there's insurance on it the actual fuel that we use uh, you've got transport from and to the site so you've got a double charge there and then we used a block grab because the blocks did not come on pallets so you generally want to try and get your 
blocks delivered um, pallets. So but depending on where you get them from, they may or may not do that. Uh, but you could say that we'd have saved 200 pounds had we been able to get them. Um, and the reason normally we would get them on pallets, but the problem was uh, it, it, because of the current situation that we're in, and we're, I'm talking about um, we're in 2020 with the COVID pandemic, getting materials was sometimes more important than uh, certainly price or indeed um, getting them perhaps on pallets. So it was the availability that was cru uh, crucial in order to not hold off the build and uh, therefore have uh, other cost implications. Um, and then we come to the, the labor cost. Um, our brickies uh, were two men and a, uh, a laborer. Uh, so they simply charge per square meter, and that was fifteen pounds a square meter. We had two hundred and twenty-four square meters that we measured, and that obviously gave the labour cost here. Uh, so the total cost was six thousand seven hundred twenty-one uh, for this, which worked out at thirty pounds and one pence per square meter. So I hope that helps. Um, if you've found uh, this video. Um, of use to you and you would like to see more of these then please subscribe to the channel um, it really encourages me to make more videos and uh, hopefully improve as we go along uh, so please subscribe if you think this channel is of value to you and also remember to hit the notification bell which will allow you to be notified when I upload future videos so I hope you found that useful and that you download your own personal copy of the spreadsheet so that you can use it in your own project to estimate the quantities and cost out the materials that you are going to need. If you've got any comments um, on this video or suggestions for future videos, then please put them in the comments section below and I promise to respond to all comments. Until the next video, please uh, have a look at the other videos on this channel and uh, I look forward to speaking to you when the next video comes out.